and I felt like I was a model in this dress. I didn't look like a model. I thought I'd share with you guys the inventory of my online shops. As you may or may not know, I saw clothing online. I have done this for about 15 years, give or take, and it's been my side hustle. And I just thought you guys might be interested in seeing the stock that I have on my shops. So my inventory is either thrifted, of course, or thrifted from my own closet, meaning pieces that I've outgrown or, you know, I no longer absolutely love and have no use for. And also pieces that, you know, we buy on a whim, whether it's retail or thrifted. For some reason, it looks great in the fitting rooms, but when we get it home, and in my case, when I watch myself while I'm editing my videos, trying on these pieces in the try on hauls, I think to myself, what? were you thinking? But as I've mentioned before, I haven't been able to go thrifting for about five weeks because we are in a lockdown here in Greater Sydney. It doesn't look like there's going to be an end to this lockdown anytime soon. So I have to think outside the box. I have to be inventive and find other ways to collect stock for my shops. So recently I posted a video about me thrifting my mum's wardrobe and I will link that down below if you haven't checked it out. After watching that video, my mum said to me, you know what? You need to clear up my wardrobe and sell some stuff because I'm no longer wearing it. I have no use for it. I don't want it. Just sell it. So that's a big job that I need to do for my mum and my dad. Okay, so enough rambling. I can't help myself, can I? I always have to ramble about something, but I don't know. I don't know why I do this. I just hope it doesn't drive you guys mad. Let's get stuck into the inventory. All right, you guys, I am gonna try and work quickly through these items because I've got a lot to show you, but I'm gonna begin with items that are on my shop at the moment. This is a pair of vintage leather pants. Now, I thrifted these maybe a couple of years ago now, but I've never worn them, never. I always wanted to thrift a pair of vintage leather pants, and when I did, and they are so amazing, let me tell you, they are absolutely gorgeous, I just can't wear them, and I have come to the conclusion that I am not a leather pants kind of girl. I'm just not. I've tried to style them with a soft knit, with a lacy piece, with a band tee. It just is not me. They are vintage by Ellen Tracy. They're a size 12, but as you can see, the waist is tiny. This is more like a size 8 to 10. They are gorgeous, high-waisted. They have pockets, there's a beautiful patina on the leather. My mum spent ages re-sewing the lining in these pants because it was quite damaged. And if I can get a good price for them, I will let them go. Otherwise, I will keep them for my little pop-up shop that I intend on opening when I move out of home called Vintage Dreams. This next piece is a boho skirt that I thrifted quite a while ago, more than two years ago now, I would say. I wore it to death. I absolutely loved it. I got so much wear out of it, but now I'm kind of over it. I do have a very large skirt collection, and this was just one that I wasn't sad to let go of. You know, that is why I have to constantly declutter my wardrobe because I have so many clothes, I cannot possibly keep everything. So I kind of wear things, get my joy out of them, and then I pass them along. But if I'm absolutely in love, I will keep it forever. But this was a piece that I really enjoyed. I love the little ruffle detail on the bottom. It's kind of like a prairie skirt. It's high-waisted. It's by Some Days Loving. It's a size small and it's polyester. Really, really cute. This piece is also thrifted. I found it at my entrance markets. It's a pair of linen pants by Sportscraft. They're white with a black pinstripe. They're a gorgeous pant, beautifully cut and made, really expensive to buy brand new. I mean, our pants, I work for Sportscraft, go for about $180. So this is a great find, a great find. And I just have them rolled up, but they are a full length. I decided to let go of these because they're not very slouchy and relaxed, which is the way I like my pants to fit. These are more of a classic cut, so just pretty straight, but they are so casual and wearable with a drawstring, an elastic waist, you know, pockets, 
and also pockets at the back. Just a great piece for the summertime. And so this went on my shop quite recently. Next up, I have a pair of Bermuda shorts. Now, Bermuda shorts are my favorite short to wear. I feel very comfortable and stylish in them, very age appropriate. I don't wanna be showing too much of my thighs anymore unless I'm on holiday at the beach where I know nobody. Otherwise, I just don't feel comfortable. I have always had insecurities about my legs, but now at this age, I don't need to be showing off so much skin. So I love a Bermuda short. I have about five pairs, and this is just one pair that I was happy to let go of because of the color. It's just not really my color. I mean, I do like khaki, and I have a couple of things, not a lot. But because I do have five pairs in beautiful, gorgeous colors, I was happy to let go of this one. But as you can see, it's quite long, but then when you roll them up, they look really cute as well. They're just a beautiful vintage quality make. They have pockets. These pockets on the back are not functional, so they're purely for design. They have a little bit of elastic on the sides and then a button and zip, which I wish all pants were made this way. So comfortable and so flattering. And these are by Lisa. They are a size 12 and they are a polyester, but that awesome vintage polyester. So just a great Bermuda short, gorgeous. You may remember this vest from a recent try on thrift haul. Now I've mentioned many times that I just don't feel vests suit me because I just find that when I try to style a vest, on my frame, not only do I feel shorter than I am, I feel stumpier. Look at the tie-dye on this, and it's in a denim fabric. The buttons are very unusual. There's little pockets that are functional at the front. On the back, there is a tab detail there to cinch it in. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous quality. I knew it was a treasure find. This one is by Gringo Originals, but just a great piece. We have another vest. You may also remember this one. I thrifted this and I was torn about whether or not I should sell it. It is very long line and oversized, but again, I just cannot wear vests. But back to this vest, I think it's actually handmade. There's no label, there's no care tag. It's in a beautiful floral print at the front. And then on the back, there's this embossed flower print. I think they call this jacquard print. I'm not sure, maybe one of you can tell me. But it is gorgeous. It is absolutely a, a treasure find. It really is so different. Okay. This I found in my mum's wardrobe was one of my pieces that I bought back from my travels. And I did wear this a lot. And I tried this on the other day after rediscovering it. And I just found that although I love this motive detail, I absolutely love it, this abstract American flag, this is just way too low for me. This scoop neck, I cannot do it. But it's by Lucky Brand, Los Angeles, California. It's made in India, 100% cotton and a size extra small. This is another piece that I thrifted. I haven't shown you guys this. It's a French connection, little blouse. It has beautiful vintage vibes. The sleeve is just so pretty with a little ruffle detail and a little button detail. The ruffle detail runs all the way down with the buttons and it has a Peter Pan collar. I mean, I cannot resist a Peter Pan collar. It's so demure, I love it. Very, very cute. And this blue is just gorgeous. And this fabric is a viscose. It's 100% viscose and it's a size 10. This is another piece that I thrifted and have not shown you, a classic black and white striped tee. This is by Maya Direct, size large, made in Australia. It is vintage. It's in a beautiful ribbed cotton polyester material. It's a size large, way too big for me. Just a great staple for your wardrobe. I also thrifted this piece and I have worn it quite a bit, but I just feel that it's a little bit too snug on me. It's great worn on its own into some more voluminous pants or skirt, but it's also a wonderful layering piece in this beautiful tan and white and blue stripe. So it's a fitted long sleeve tee. It's vintage single stitch. It's by Speedo, made in Australia, a size 12, but I did find this in the kids section. So I would say an extra small. It's got a little bit of elastine in it, so it molds to your body. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. I don't think 
I've shown you guys this one, but I thrifted this top. It's a handmade knit and it's vintage in this blue, pink and white colorway. Just a little cap sleeve knit top. I would say it's about a size medium. I don't know the fabric. It could be acrylic, but it could also be a cotton polyester blend. I'm not sure, but I think it is so cute. I do have a few knitted tops, so I thrifted this one specifically for my shop. This is another knit that I don't think I have shown you guys. This color is just absolutely gorgeous. I love pastels. I also loved the texture of this knit. It's kind of like a waffle texture and I loved that it was high neck, but it's a vintage jumper. The tag was ripped out, so I don't know who it's by or what the make is. I'm pretty sure it's acrylic and I would say it's a medium to large, but just a beautiful knit to wear with denim. Now I thrifted this knit for myself intentionally thinking, wow, I love this knit. It is absolutely gorgeous. I loved the collar, I loved the color, and I loved the texture of this knit. Again, this is handmade. So this sleeve, although it's kind of loose on the arm, I wouldn't classify it as a balloon sleeve. With this one, again, I did try and style it on myself with denim and then with a midi skirt, but for some reason, I didn't feel good in it. I felt bulky, I felt a little bit juvenile, I don't know. And I think it's because I'm not used to wearing this kind of silhouette when it comes to a knit. It's such a pretty color, and I have to say that what really drew me to this knit and made me purchase it was this collar and this V. Hopefully someone else will recognize the beauty of this knit. I mean, someone handmade this. Okay, so this is a piece from my wardrobe. I purchased this from Anthropology when I was in Hawaii, maybe two years ago. I got one in pink also, and I sold the pink, and I thought I'll keep the white one because I will wear it more, but I just never, ever, ever reach for it. So I decided to sell it because I think this top is a great alternative to a white tee. So if you're the kind of girl who likes wearing t-shirts or a classic white tee with jeans, pairing a t-shirt with a statement sleeve is a beautiful, way to kind of reinvent your look and add some style into your look rather than just a basic white tee. And so that one is in an extra small, but as you can see, it runs large. So I would classify this just as a small. Okay, so this piece was from my wardrobe. I know you're thinking it's stripes. Why is she getting rid of it? I bought three of these. Three of these tops from Zara. I got it in this colorway with the gorgeous red stripe. I got it in the black colorway, so the black stripe. And then I got one in a plain gray mull, just a block color. Look at this sleeve. That is why I bought it. This sleeve is gorgeous and I love it, but this neckline is way too wide on me. It's way too wide. And this is a size small. Well, it's not too wide on me. It's too wide for my liking, if you know what I mean. I like a crew neck. I'm kind of sad about it because I wore them so much, the three of them. I sold the other two already. This is a cotton polyester fine knit from Zara. Just a great, great piece. Okay, this is another piece from my wardrobe. I bought this from Anthropology from, was it LA or New York? But I have worn it, not a lot, but I have worn it. I remember taking an Instagram photo of this top. Look how big it is. An oversized sweat top with a little cap sleeve and a hoodie. It's that relaxed oversized look that I love. It's got pockets, which I love. It's in 100% cotton. It's great quality and I loved everything about it. But for some reason, I just don't reach for it. I don't reach for it. It is a size small, 100% cotton. You guys, it's not only a size small, it's a size extra small. This sizing is totally wrong. This should be classified as a medium to large, if you ask me. It is very, very oversized but I guess that's the whole style of it. The back of this top has a different texture in the cotton, beautiful for loungewear, but I don't know, I'm over it. Okay. This was a piece from my wardrobe as well. I've had this for a long time, a long time. It would be about four years, I would say. I got this from Maui. It's a Lucky Brand utility jacket. I like wearing khaki on the bottom more than I like wearing it 
on the top. I know, I'm weird. But this jacket has sold. Someone bid on it and they just need to pay for it. I gotta say that I did wear this jacket a lot. It's a beautiful cut. The details on this jacket are gorgeous. I love all the pockets. You know, you've got two up here, you've got two on the bottom. So it has a press button closure in addition to a zip and this collar, I love a motorcycle collar. Just a great piece. I'm sure whoever bought it is gonna love it. This denim jacket also used to be mine. It is very loved. I used to love it and wear it quite a bit, especially over my little boho dresses. But I no longer wear it because I'm kind of over that look. And this jacket is kind of cropped, so I'm not really into the cropped length when it comes to a denim jacket. But this was very expensive. It was over a hundred bucks on sale. This jacket was like $300. It's in a beautiful wash, absolutely beautiful. But what stood out to me about this denim jacket and made it just not your typical denim jacket was this bohemian lace panel detail. That is just gorgeous. And I love that about this jacket. So it's not oversized. It doesn't have a very wide sleeve. I would say it's a classic fit cropped denim jacket with a bohemian vibe. So as I mentioned, it's by Free People. It's a size small. It's 100% cotton. I am kind of sad to part with it because I love Free People. When it comes to retail, I would say they are my favorite label. And look at the back. Look at this pleat detail and the shape that it creates. Just gorgeous. So this is a piece that I thrifted also. It is a seasucker stripe summery kind of blazer. And the reason why this is on my shop and I didn't keep it is because I'm not really into a seersucker stripe. And I've only just figured this out. I am into the Parisian nautical block stripe, not this seersucker stripe. It is very preppy and I do love preppy vibes. I'm just not into this stripe, but a very cute blazer. The lapels are nice. Two pockets that actually work at the front, a white button detail on the closure and the cuff. I mean, it's just a great summer blazer and it's fully lined too. So this is originally by Rockman's. It's a size 14. It's 95% cotton and 5% elastin. This used to be my blazer, my H&M long line boyfriend blazer. Absolutely gorgeous. The reason I am selling this, I have found the blazer of my dreams, my friends. It's vintage, it's made in Great Britain. It's a cashmere wool blend. I am not reaching for any other blazer in my wardrobe if I wanna wear a black blazer, that is. H&M, fully lined, absolutely gorgeous. Man style, oversized, a viscose polyester blend. H&M don't make this style anymore, unfortunately. So that makes it a real treasure find. And although I am kind of sad to part with this blazer because of its man style vibes, I mean, it has a pocket up here for a silk pocket square. I mean, that's how man style it is. Look at that lapel. It is so sexy because it's so man style. This trench coat, my friends, also from my wardrobe. I am selling this because I have thrifted a vintage trench coat that I love so much more than this. I do think this is a beautiful trench coat. It's by Michael Stars. It's a very classic navy trench coat. It's very Parisian. It was in my French style dressing video. It has all those classic details that you look for in a quintessential trench coat, right? So the lapels, are very gorgeous. It has this vent here at the front and runs along the back as well. The tie, the tab sleeves, the length, the pockets, just everything about it. Everything about it is just classic, timeless, quality, gorgeous. So now let's move into some pieces that are not on my shop. Maybe because A, they're too summery and I have to wait a little while before I list them, or B, I've taken them off because they haven't sold and I can't think of any other reasons, but if I do, I'll let you know. So this is a men's RM Williams check shirt that I thrifted brand new with tags. And the original price on this says, I don't know, it doesn't say, but it's a short sleeve, check shirt in a blue and green colorway. I do love men's shirts, but not this one. 
This to me is just not my vibe, but I'm sure someone will love it. Possibly a man, as you Aussies know, is very expensive and great quality. We sell it in David Jones. Okay, this next piece I thrifted and I think it's cute. I really do, but it didn't sell on my shop and I don't know why. I may try it again in the summer. I'm not sure. I didn't keep it for me because I don't like the way it fits on me. I want it to be a little bit more oversized than this. But for the girl who really loves vintage and classic cuts, this is perfect. And I have a feeling that this is handmade also. It has this little white detail here across the chest. There's four tiny little buttons for the closure in the back. And it's just a cute little short sleeve. I mean, is this periwinkle blue? Maybe not quite, it's like a cloud blue. So gorgeous. This is also another piece that I thrifted for my shop. I did list it, I think, for a couple of weeks, but then I took it down because I don't think anyone would want to be buying Bermuda shorts in such a bright summery color this time of year. So I may list this when it gets warmer again. It's a paisley design. Can you see that? It's kind of like a silky fabric. It has a button and zip closure in addition to elastic on the sides, but there is no label or fabric composition in this pair of shorts either. So this could very well be handmade as well. It's definitely a small high waist, a beautiful wide leg. If it is a little bit long, you can always roll them up. But I'm not sure if these are gonna sell because they are very different. The color's very unusual. Bermuda shorts, you know, are not everyone's cup of tea, but I just thought they were a treasure find. This is another piece that I listed on my shop and it was on there for a couple of weeks, I think, and then I took it down because it didn't sell. I don't like things to be on my shop too long. Actually, you guys, if you want me to make a video on how to sell clothing online as a little side business, let me know. I'd be more than happy to share with you my tips on how to start a little clothing online business. So let me know in the comments down below. This piece is not vintage, by the way, but I did like this very wide sleeve and the asymmetrical hem, and I just thought it would make a cute layering piece. It is just acrylic. It's by Apple Blue. I think that's what it says. And it's a size large, but I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute. The shape, I think, is quite flattering because it's very loose. And if you were to wear a long sleeve, white, billowy blouse, where the sleeve came down to here and then you had this over top, I think it would look really cute with a pair of denim, you know, just cute. This is also a piece that I had up for a couple of weeks, but it didn't sell. It's a handmade vintage skirt and this shape, it's that fit and flare silhouette. And just here, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, these little buttons, just a cute little detail. So vintage, so different. I've never seen anything like this. Hopefully the camera's picking it up, but look at that little button detail. And it is fully lined, fully lined, but not my style, which is why I didn't keep it. I always look for things that are not in particular my vibe, but I know that are treasures and you know, a must for my shop. You guys, these are the Levi's jeans that I thrifted from my mum's wardrobe. These are way too big for me, way too big. They are the style 555 and they are a 31 to 33 waist, I think, if I remember correctly. A dark denim, a wide leg. Even with a belt, these were way too big on me. Yes, I cinched them in, the belt held them up, but on the leg, they were just too wide. They were just, just too big. I was drowning in these jeans. So I'm definitely selling these. These linen shorts were mine. I bought these before I went to New York and LA and I wore them and I love them. But this waistband, this elastic waistband is just too tight. So even though these were labeled a medium large, oh my God, they're so gorgeous. Look at them. They're such a beautiful silhouette. These are an extra small. The sizing is totally wrong. So they're 100% linen and they are by the brand Worthier. I just love them. I mean, they didn't look too bad because I wore them in my New York vlog and my LA vlog. I just don't think they're flattering on me. And I've just rolled them up, but they also look great uncuffed as well. 
and this little button detail is not functional. But as I mentioned, it's an elastic waist and these two back pockets and they're in a gorgeous, gorgeous oatmeal color. Just beautiful. I will list these on my shop. You guys, I cannot tell you how in love I was with this dress. I wore this dress quite a bit after my divorce. So it is quite old and it's quite tiny because I was very tiny after my divorce. I was a size six. It's a little mini dress with this gorgeous vintage lace detail. I mean, the color is just so dreamy. I would wear this with little suede tan ankle boots and I felt like I was a model in this dress. I didn't look like a model. Let me elaborate on that before you think I am full of myself. Going through a divorce is one of the most difficult trials I've ever had to go through. It was the hardest decision I have ever had to make in my life to leave my marriage and break up my family. And you know, for a year I was a mess. After that year, I decided I would start to go out and you know, possibly date and I had lost a lot of weight and I was so sad. I mean, when you looked in my eyes, you could see a very deep sadness. And when I put on a cute little dress and a little booty and a little clutch and you are going out to meet a guy for a date, you find yourself in the dating game again after so many years of being with the one person, I just felt like a completely different person. I almost didn't recognize myself. I remember sitting at that table opposite this guy. We were just having a drink and I remember thinking, who am I? What am I doing? Who is this guy? How is this my life? Nothing ever happened with that guy, but I remember walking away from that date and feeling amazing because he had said to me how much he loved the dress and how he thought that I was different to other girls. I remember driving home and thinking, I didn't look too bad in that dress. Seriously, for, you know, 41 or however old I was, I thought I had never looked better. And that's what I mean by, you know, feeling like a model. And that's why this dress just holds so much memory and nostalgia for me. The button detail on the back of this dress is exquisite. I don't know if I'm gonna sell this. I think I might just keep it forever and then give it to my son's girlfriend when he finally gets one. I made a video, Thrift With Me in Byron Bay, and this was one of the pieces that I found from the Vinnie's. It's a scotch and soda cover up. Very cute, drawstring hem, kangaroo pockets, hoodie, just very cute. And the reason I'm selling it is because I have so many cover ups. And so I thought this would be a great piece to have on my shop. So as I mentioned, it's originally by scotch and soda, made in Holland, 100% cotton, and it's a size XL. This is a gorgeous maxi dress, a knit maxi dress that I remember buying from Honolulu. It's by the label Goddess. The reason I am selling this beautiful dress is because it is way too long on me and the only way I can get away with wearing this without it dragging on the floor is with a wedge heel. But as you guys know, I don't wear heels, especially wedges, but it is a beautiful deep V. The dress also has two side splits on either side of the dress. Quite scandalous. You would probably wear this over your bathers. Very, very sexy, but in a very tasteful way. It is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful dress. This dress cost me, if I remember correctly, 100 American dollars, but it was over $300. So a very, very stunning special piece. This dress is also a piece of mine. It's a beautiful, free people tunic and I bought it you know not long after my divorce also when I was you know dating and I bought a lot of dresses around that time I'm over it because of the neckline it's a scoop neckline but the tunic is absolutely stunning if you could just see the detail on this it's just so beautiful you guys and if I turn it to the back you can see that it has a vent so it opens up this chiffon beaded bit opens up and you can see a slip underneath. It really is quite beautiful. But yeah, I'm gonna list that one on my shop when summer comes around. I remember wearing this 
with a wedge heel. Yes, I did have a wedge heel, but I sold them. They were a wooden wedge and they had a gold piece of leather over the toes, quite thick. And then the strap around the ankle was in tan leather. They were very unusual, but they were so high, this wedge, I couldn't walk in them, so I sold them. But they were stunning. But that's how I styled this dress. It's just a beautiful summer piece. I wore it on a date. It was on a yacht. And no, nothing ever happened with that guy either. This dress was also mine. Another cover-up that I bought retail from TK Maxx for my trip to Bali with my mum. It is such a sweet dress. If it doesn't sell, I will keep it. There's no way I'm giving this to charity. It's too beautiful. So the label of this dress is Bondi Australia and Bondi is a famous beach in Australia. I'm sure you all know about it, but the label is spelled B-O-N-D-E-Y-E -E. and it's a size small. It is just so pretty with this cutout work and the adjustable straps on the back and on the end of the strap it has this cute little detail this gold hardware that is just so pretty it is such a pretty dress and i felt so cute in it when i was in bali but again it's that scoop neckline and Although it does look good, like it gives your boobs still a nice shape, I don't know. I think if I can sell it, I'll sell it. If it doesn't sell, then I'll keep it, but very pretty. This is another free people dress. This one was from Honolulu. I got it at a really good price because free people dresses are a few hundred dollars. So this one was around the $50, $60 mark from Nordstrom Rack. It is this one shoulder dress the other shoulder does have two spaghetti straps cinched in with this rope belt and then a ruffle tiered skirt. So cute, I loved it so much and even though it was a little big on me, a size medium, I bought it. It doesn't look too big but the sleeve keeps falling off my shoulder, these straps keep falling off my shoulder so that just irritates me and that is why I'm selling this dress but if it doesn't sell, I am going to keep it because it's just too pretty. It's such a cute dress by Free People. Love it. And the last piece is also one from my own wardrobe. I got this from Hawaii from Forever New. Forever New, is it Forever New or Forever 21? Forever 21, that's right. I just loved this top. It's got a balloon sleeve, it's cropped, it's off the shoulder, but you can wear it on as well. It's in a check print and it has embroidery on glaze detail on it as well. And it's so cute. I think this was slightly big on me. Yes, it's a size medium. I wore it quite a bit, but I'm ready to let it go. And that, my friends, is all I got for you today. Those are all the pieces that are on my online shops. Well, most of them, some will be going on when the weather warms up. And I hope that the thrift shops open really soon Soon so I can get back to thrifting not only for my shop but for myself because I miss it so much if you did want to shop my closet that's what I call it my closet shop my closet my online shops are listed in the description down below always in every video that I post so you can always just click on the link if you want to check anything out and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one